guys, welcome back to my channel and to a very long requested video and it is how to dress cute in the winter. I feel like I have a more like vintage inspired wardrobe so I like to kind of keep that going throughout the entire winter as well. And just for context, I do live in Ontario, Canada so it does get pretty cold here. Not as cold as like the northern provinces obviously but it does get pretty cold. We do get snow. That being said, these are the kinds of outfits that I would wear if I'm going like sightseeing or spending a lot of time outside, going for a walk, those types of things. Not so much if I'm going to the grocery store because I'll be way too warm wearing like a million layers. Um, so I'm gonna be starting out with the ones that are the least warm and then working my way to like the warmest outfit where I can spend the entire day outside in the snow and not feel any cold at all. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. To create a base layer, I'm going to start with some new tights and a matching camisole. I personally like to choose something that's a little bit more close fitting to the skin if I'm going to be layering. Since I'm planning on wearing a dress, I'm going to grab a silk slip which you can always find at your local thrift store. The next layer is very important and I'm using a thermal long sleeve shirt from Uniqlo. It's actually made with heat tech technology to help keep all of your body heat in and it's also really nice and form fitting so it's not going to add any extra bulk when you're layering. I personally like to wear dresses all year round because you never know when you might have to take your coat off in the winter. So I'm going to be grabbing this one by Miss Patina and I think it's really great for the winter because it has this really beautiful plaid pattern on it and it also has this little bow detail at the collar that I love. The next layer is going to be a thick cardigan and I personally prefer any type of knit cardigan that has that really nice pattern in the knit. I don't know why, it just makes you think that it's a little bit more put together and it has a more vintage flair to it. Then I'm going to be grabbing some woolly socks and I'm going to be layering that over the tights just to keep my feet a little bit warmer. Okay, this part is also really important. So I'm going to be grabbing an oversized scarf and I'm going to be draping it over my shoulders and then crossing it on top of my chest. And this is going to help keep your core really warm. Of course, a coat is essential in the winter time and I personally prefer wool type coats like the one that I'm showing you right now versus like a parka or like a Canada goose jacket. That's just like a personal preference. The key thing here is to get that scarf really nice and flat against your chest. Make sure it's always crossed over just to keep you extra warm before you button up all the buttons. For this outfit, I'm going to be showing you two hat options. The first one being a beret, which you guys know is one of my staples in the winter time. The second option is more new for me and it's these knit ear covers. And I think they're so cute and they have a more like vintage feel and they actually keep you really nice and warm, which is perfect. Okay, this one isn't going to keep you any warmer, but it is going to make your outfit look cuter and that's just adding a brooch. For shoes, I decided to go for some Oxfords and these are the types of shoes that I would choose if it's cold outside but there's no snow on the ground. For more snow appropriate shoes, I'll be getting into that later on in the video. To finish off the look, I grabbed some matching gloves. I don't know, I like to match all of my winter accessories into one color palette. I just think it looks a little bit more put together. Then I grabbed a handbag that matched my shoes and that is the first outfit complete. For the second outfit, I'm going to be grabbing these light grey tights and then I'm also going to be using that same nude camisole. I'm also going to be using a silk slip for this look but this one is a little bit longer because the skirt I'm wearing is longer. Like I mentioned, the thermal undershirt is essential. I'm going to be wearing it throughout the entire video, so I would highly recommend checking it out if you do live in a colder climate. For the next layer, I'm going to be grabbing a white button-up blouse, and for the winter, I prefer something that's more cotton as opposed to chiffon. Um, if you do want something a little bit warmer, you could opt out for a turtleneck. For extra warmth, I'm going to be wearing a cashmere cardigan. Cashmere is extremely warm, that's probably why the price tag is usually so high, but I've actually been able to find some cashmere cardigans and sweaters at the thrift store, so definitely worth checking out. Another great fabric is wool, so I'm going to be grabbing this vintage plaid wool skirt from the 1960s. I actually love these skirts, they're so comfortable and warm, I live in them all winter long. And of course, you can't forget about accessories, so I'm going to be grabbing my vintage locket that I wear every single day, and I just think it helps make everything look a little bit more put together. For shoes, I'm going to be wearing these Black Mary Janes that actually have like these grippy thing on the bottom, and I wouldn't recommend these shoes if there's actually snow on the ground, but if it's just cold and there's no snow, I think these shoes are great. 
For my coat, I'm just grabbing this really long gray coat that kind of flares out at the waist. So it's really nice when you're wearing a long skirt like that, that it has the same kind of silhouette. Ideally, I like the coat to be the same length as the skirt. This one is just a little bit shorter, but it's fine. <laughs> For my hat, I'm going to be grabbing a beret, which you guys know is one of my favorite accessories to wear in the winter. I think they look great with practically every single outfit. As a final layer, I grabbed this faux fur shawl and I draped it over my shoulders. And this is going to keep you really nice and warm and also it looks really elegant and it adds a more vintage flair. Since I didn't have any gloves that matched my beret, I decided to go for this grey color. That way it would be a little bit more seamless since it does match the jacket perfectly. And that is the second outfit complete! For this outfit, I'm also going to be starting out with some nude tights as well as that nude camisole. And then on top of that, I'm going to be layering that thermal shirt that I've been wearing throughout this entire video. However, this time I'm going to be tucking it into the tights so that it's a little bit more seamless. For this outfit, I'm using a short black pleated skirt. Ideally, it would be wool, but this is the only one that I have. Then I'm going to be grabbing a cotton blouse and similar to the previous outfit, you could always switch this up and try a turtleneck or a mock neck if you do want something warmer. I just personally love the look of blouses. For extra warmth, I'm wearing this green cable knit sweater. I love wearing bright colors in the winter. I think it just makes winter a little bit more bearable. Of course, I can't forget about my vintage locket. I'm grabbing this cream and knit scarf and I'm going to be doing the same thing, wrapping it on my shoulders and crossing it over my chest. For my coat, I decided to go for something on the longer side just because my skirt is a bit shorter so I wanted something to be long enough to protect me from the wind. On my head, I'm just going to grab this square scarf, I folded it in half and then I'm just going to tie it underneath my chin. And what this does, it's going to keep your entire head warm as well as your ears and also the sides of your face and the neck just because it's not going to allow any of the air to go inside your jacket. I decided to match the gloves with the scarf so they're in this really pretty cream neutral color. For shoes, I'm wearing these brown block heels and again, I would not recommend these shoes if it is snowing. Grabbing my matching bag and that is the completed look! I'm going to be starting off this look with some black opaque tights, that same nude camisole that I've been wearing, as well as, you guessed it, that same thermal long sleeve shirt. In this look, I'm also going to be tucking in the shirt inside my tights for a more smooth finish. On top of that, I'm going to be layering this knit mock neck shirt. And what I love about these is that they're really nice and fitted, so they don't add much bulk when you're layering a lot of things on your outfit. And also, they keep you really nice and warm because of the thick knit material that they're made out of. I'm also wearing that same pleated black skirt, and ideally this would be wool, but this is the only one that I have. Okay, I just had to show you this sweater because it is Devoon. I'm obsessed with this argyle print, but it's also really warm and it has a turtleneck collar, so it's going to keep my neck really nice and warm. For this outfit, I'm going to be wearing some black socks, which almost looks seamless on top of the black tights. For shoes, I went for these knee-high boots, they're really nice and warm, and this is what I would wear if there is a little bit of slush or snow on the ground. I don't really walk too much in the snow, so this is what I would wear around the city. Using an oversized scarf, I'm draping that over my shoulders and then across my chest, and this is going to keep you so snugly and warm. Since my skirt is a little bit on the shorter side, I decided to go for a long coat for this look as well. And this one is really nice and heavy, and it actually hits about where my boots start, so my legs are protected from the wind. Again, this isn't going to make a difference in terms of warmth, but a brooch does look really nice. Ah, uh, one of my favorite winter accessories, the faux fur headband. They look so cute and they keep you super warm. I decided to go for some red gloves to match the scarf for a really nice pop of color. I grabbed a matching handbag and that is the completed look. For 
the final look, I'm going to be starting out with some fleece lined tights. And as you can see here, they're actually very nice and heavy, so they'll keep you really warm. And then I'm also going to be wearing that same camisole that I've been wearing this entire video. And yes, of course, I'm going to be wearing that same thermal undershirt. The next layer is going to be a cotton blouse and like I mentioned earlier you could always change this for a turtleneck or a mock neck if you do want to be a little bit more warm. On top of that I'm going to be wearing this black cashmere sweater. Like I said cashmere is very warm so it is ideal for the winter. It has all the warmth but it barely adds any bulkiness to your outfit. A long wool skirt is going to give you the most warmth, so I'm going to be wearing this one. It's vintage from the 1960s, and I just love this plaid pattern. It's perfect for winter. For shoes, I decided to go for these brown combat boots, and these is my version of snowshoes. This is the closest thing that I have to a pair of snow boots, and this is what I wear if I'm going hiking or if I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the snow. For this look, I'm wearing a regular sized cashmere scarf and I'm going to be placing it around my neck, crossing it over and tossing the strands to the back and that's just going to keep my neck really warm. To finish the look off, I'm going to be wearing the warmest coat that I own. I have this black one that's almost floor length and then it has a faux fur collar and cuffs. Then I'm going to be going into my faux fur cabinet and I'm going to be pulling out my black faux fur hat. It's one of my favorites. I think it's so elegant and it's going to keep me really nice and warm. Of course, I had to go for some matching gloves. In this case, it's a little bit boring. It's just plain black, but it does work really well with the rest of the outfit. I grabbed the bag that matched my shoes and that is the final look. And that pretty much wraps up this video. Let me know in the comments below which look was your favorite as well as don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos. As well as don't forget to follow me on Instagram at carepinglo. You can find the link to that in the description box and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!